Prop Choice here and we're going to get straight into it because we have a huge update on the controversy surrounding the funded trader and it's not the comeback story you might have hoped for. Since my last video where I reported on the firm's sudden disappearance amid payout issues, they've now resurfaced, but the firm's return is clouded by some even more troubling issues. So what's really going on here? Let's find out. The Funded Traders website is back online after a 21-day blackout. The firm announced its plans with the following post on social media, outlining a change of ownership structure and a transition of operations to an entity in the Cayman Islands, and a vague suggestion that all profits would be reserved for charitable causes only. Promised internal improvements include a complete reset and archiving of old accounts and coupons, and revamped customer support. Significant product changes were also revealed, with the removal of certain account types and sizes, as well as updates for active accounts at the time of pausing operations. For account types that still exist, traders will receive a one-time use coupon to restart from phase one. For account types that no longer exist, traders will receive a corresponding account type. For account sizes that no longer exist, traders will receive multiple accounts equivalent to the previous balance. For funded accounts with pending payouts, the firm promises traders will receive their payments and a one-time use 100% off coupon. Although the platform appears to be operational at first glance, upon closer inspection, glaring issues emerge, raising questions about whether the firm is really back in any functional capacity. Parts of the payment system are simply not working, and their customer service is entirely unresponsive on social media, live chat, and email. The firm also lists a redundant phone number, which I attempted to call, only to be greeted by the following message. Hello, and thanks for calling the funded trader. Please note that we currently do not provide support services over the phone. If you would like to get live chat support, you can do so by visiting our website at www.thefundedtraderprogram.com. There. You can connect with a live representative 24-7 that will be able to resolve any questions or issues you may be having. Typical reply times are between 2 and 5 minutes, depending on volume. Otherwise, you can send an email to support at thefundedtraderprogram.com to open a ticket with our live chat support and it will be attended to in the order received. This call will now disconnect. Compounding these issues is the silence from CEO Angelo Charmello, who seemingly vanished despite previously being a very active figure in the prop trading space. While the firm has resumed posting on social media, responses have mostly been disallowed. This stifling of any user engagement extends to the firm's Discord server, where the ability to chat and interact have been completely disabled. What appears to be a deliberate attempt to hinder discussion has not gone unnoticed by the community. However, just today, the firm posted a progress update on X, this time without restricting replies, which the firm may come to regret as people did not hold back in sharing their thoughts. Despite the firm's announcement of progress, stating that 52% of active accounts have been processed, the community response tells a starkly different story. Trust in the funder trader appears to be rapidly eroding, with users voicing their frustrations about unresolved issues and lack of transparency. On X, many flat out accuse the firm of scamming its clients. Some people who had their accounts restored claimed they'd been set up to fail. One trader wrote they had an active 200k account, but that the 30-day activity rule was just two days away, and they couldn't make any trades. Another pointed out that the firm's broker appears to be unregulated, and according to the image they shared, had been dissolved in 2022. However, not all responses were entirely negative. One trader wrote to say their account had been manually breached, but that they got it back, and the traders should expect to receive a 100% off coupon to start fresh. Traders also voiced their frustration and concerns on Trustpilot, where the firm's previously high score has taken a significant hit. Many reviews expressed their disappointment by the firm actively promoting new account purchases with coupons while so many traders had been impacted following the shutdown, suggesting a lack of regard for traders' concerns. One review wrote, It's disheartening to witness a focus on sales over addressing outstanding payout matters. Others highlighted ongoing issues regarding manually breached accounts due to supposed rule violations, a common complaint that's only fueled traders' concerns over whether they can trust the platform to make things right, particularly after the large number of denied payouts and operational concerns we highlighted in my last video. The funded trader has at least been responsive to many of these negative Trustpilot reviews, but based on the lack of response to their official support channels, the cynic in me thinks that's more to do with the firm fearing the gradual decline of their review score than anything else. 
In one instance, they responded to clarify the firm's future plans, stating, To address the challenges faced during our pause, we are issuing 100% off coupons to all traders with previously active accounts. These coupons will allow you to continue your trading journey under the new product offering, maintaining your equivalent challenge, account size, and any add-ons you had. This approach is part of our effort to ensure all traders can move forward without losing the progress they've made. There's still no definitive word as to how exactly the firm has restructured or reorganized as promised. As such, it's hard to see how this is a relaunch at all. By all accounts, it just looks like the same platform with the same operational difficulties and the same lack of transparency. And this whole ordeal just looks like a thinly veiled attempt to buy time or delay the firm's potential collapse. For traders caught in this situation, things remain uncertain. It's hard to see how the funded trader can really ever recover from this. That said, I'm quite surprised to see the firm's returned in any form at all. That in itself serves as a small glimmer of hope for affected traders who've been left in the dark. But trust is hard to earn and easy to lose. If the funded trader is going to survive, it's crucial for them to address these issues head on. And that means leaving no trader behind, returning all accounts, processing any due payouts and not declining payouts for dubious reasons. If you have any involvement in this industry at all, this is a story you're going to want to keep an eye on. Future developments are guaranteed to impact all prop firms. Subscribe to stay informed. We'll be delivering the latest updates as they come. And please share your experiences and thoughts in the comments. This is an important conversation and your insights and opinions could greatly help fellow traders. Until our next update, thanks for watching.